Hundreds of people are preparing to camp out to raise money for women's cancer research. Earlier in the day, there was a spring in their step as they marched through the city, and Sonia Marinelli went along. Sandy Bonavita's infectious energy hides her 17-year battle with breast cancer. It's now inoperable and, according to doctors, terminal. But she's living proof there's always hope. Even the drugs that I'm on at stage four, are they're, they're remarkable in what they're doing with the tumours. And those advances in the hunt for a cure is what's motivated the hundreds participating in the annual weekend to end women's cancers with encouragement every step of the way. Together, they've raised $2.7 million, which this year will fund ovarian cancer research. It's crucial when you consider one in three women will get cancer by the time they turn 85. That is a, a very compelling statistic, which is why this walk is so important. It's where you appreciate just how lucky you are. Like, really, I, I constantly say how lucky I am. And this is where they'll spend the night, affectionately dubbed Tent City, before they hit the road again tomorrow. What these walkers here have in common is far greater than just their running shoes. Not only have they all been touched by cancer in some way or form, but there is this undeniable and positive energy here that a cure for cancer can be achieved and that it's just on the horizon. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, there's no doubt there will be a cure for cancer. I have no doubt in my mind. And with each step, it's one step closer. Sonia Marinelli. Nine news. Right, time now for the weather.